Well, 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 we are back again riding bikes out on a nice sunny fallish evening. We're late summer here, the fields are being cropped. There's planes out flying and we're riding out. We're going on a bit of an adventure. This ride takes me about 20 minutes and it's across the plains of Manitoba, the fields of North America. We kind of cut through some farmer shortcuts here, machinery roads as they're called, and it's kind of fun. You kind of go a little bit off piste, if you want to call it. Most of them are straight, most of them are pretty flat, but I mean, we're cruising, not that it looks it, probably around the 100k an hour mark here. This is always fun. Fresh wheat or barley, I don't know what that is on the video, but it's good to get out and enjoy the super nice weather. Like this is a nice sunny day. All right, now we're at the trailhead. Classic provincial forest, ready to be chopped down at any minute because that's what it was planted for. All the trees are in perfect rows. This always reminds me of Endor Forest and the speed of bike scene from Star Wars. We still have not decided on exactly what we're doing for a new bike for this season. And that kind of sucks a little bit. I'm not too bummed, but uh, I kind of wish I could just make up on my... I need to touch things, you know? I need to ride things to feel it out. And when you're spending upwards of ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000, it's hard not to ride it how you want to ride it. And it's not like a test ride, a quick little loop really solves it. You want to be able to go out for a few hours. This trail here was really good condition. It had rained, I think, like a couple days before. So for the most part, it was dry, but it did have some good tackiness to it. Some of these main tracks can get pretty sandy towards the end of the year. So having that rain really keeps it a little more user-friendly instead of that super silica-like sand. Like that's what Manitoba's kind of famous for, is like super fine sand. This section's always a little fun. Doesn't like it, but it's a little downhill off camera all the way down and around. It's the only downside to the end of summer is there's lots of green super grown in. And this used to be used way more, and I feel like less and less people use it. All the roads just going to the same exact spot. But many of the trails get super overgrown. This one's coming. I love these summer rides. You got that field, golden, coming out from shadows, but it's not too dark in the trees. And it's probably 8 p.m. at night. I could double check the actual time code, but... The sun lasts forever here in the summer. It's a little dark during winter, but you go to work dark, come home dark. But come summertime, it's bright before you wake up, and it's bright well into the night. Another problem with the uh, choice of bike I'm struggling with is this one rides so nice, honestly. Suspension's almost ready to be fixed up. Like, everything could just be newer and shinier, but like, overall, this bike rides exactly what I wanted to do. If I jumped up to a 450, yeah, I'm, like, I'm not out there trying to kill myself. I'm just out there trying to have a bit of fun, get some flow on. We're going at a pretty satisfying pace, you know, and um, it's weird to want something different, but also so similar to what you already have. I'm not a buy something new kind of idea guy. I prefer to use it until it dies or until there's a significant upgrade to it. guys think have you had any opinions on bikes i know there's a lot of mountain bikers watching this you should really try out the dirt bike very similar sports uh, dirt biking is go a lot faster and there's more weight more arm more upper body 
Mountain biking is a pretty gentle sport in comparison. And like full downhill is aggressive, but the cross country stuff. Even on my biggest falls on cross country mountain biking, trail riding, pretty fast, pretty aggressive. You just walk it off, you tumble once or twice. When it comes to dirt bikes though, eh. I broke legs, arms, backs, faces, like my ocular bone. There is a lot more damage to them too. But, as Jeremy Clarkson said, speed is not what kills. It's abruptly coming to a stop, which kills. For the most part, I'm just adventure biking around. I have been thinking more and more about buying something similar to an adventure bike. So many out there, it's hard to tell. I feel like I'm in the same story or the same boat where I don't need a KTM 900 or 750. They're pretty overkill for the smaller adventures I'd go on. I would be essentially doing this, but riding from my door right to it. So you look at the CRF 300s or the KLX 300s, something like that where. It'll be comfortable on the highway speeds, comfortable around town, but you're going to be able to actually ride it a little bit in here. If I was doing more multi-day trips, I could see like the, the bigger bikes or an Africa Twin. Like that would be a sick bike to own. But it's pretty overkill in general for everyday riding. You know, commuting back and forth to work. If you're a full-time rider like Itchy Boots, I don't know if anyone's seen her, she just rides around and travels, YouTubes it. I don't even think she's on an Africa Twin. I think she's on a pretty small bike. Then again, she's a girl, so oh wait, what the heck? Oh, a little baby dad. Well, this is... Oh, okay. It's coming right back to me. All I can say I've never had this happen before. This is very unusual. I don't know if it's mother's nearby or told it to stay in the grass and I startled it, but why it came back is pretty, pretty unusual. It's times like this, you're like, do you take it? Raise it to be your own? Has it been abandoned and it's just going to die out here in the next two weeks and that's why it's unafraid of anything now. Or is it just confused because i got a green bike. We'll get off slowly here. Me. Hmm, weird. And off it goes. Nope. Oh. Well, no. Well, I'll turn around and uh, we'll leave that guy be. He's not too far away from his parents' place. This section here again. Endor Forest. That's all I picture. You can see how it was uh, uh, built to be a forest to be cut down. All this stuff would be natural. This is like the overflow. Potentially it was already harvested and they didn't replant it. You know, the birds and all this all more varying varieties is more natural and then you just get in sections where it's just like a kilometer by kilometer of perfectly straight pine trees ready to go be interesting when they cut it down make the trails definitely a little more unique around here i remember in new zealand when i was at mountain biking at rotorua they had the trails and um a lot of that was in logging lands and you come out sections where it was just completely empty and then I don't know how they map it and how they choose but it was never any an even setup, you know? With time lapse. Look at this. Well right, it's pretty much flat, so right at home and yeah. Annoying. I could feel it as I was riding on the gravel. I'm not sure when it went flat, but as soon as I was on the gravel, 
few miles in, all of a sudden it just started feeling a little soft, huh? I don't think it's been empty the entire ride. I'm pretty confident on the gravel somewhere. We got a punch up and it drained all the air out. I can feel it dragging, I can hear it kind of dragging. Trying to ride it cautiously, but yeah, you gotta get home and if the tire's done, the tire's done, I don't really care. Only a little shortcut, but we're just gonna do a little turn here. Because we just passed something. And it's always fun to kind of come up over here and have it pass by. Anyone in Europe or wherever. This is like a long freight train coming up. Great sunset. Still does blow my mind when I see a train which is a kilometer or a mile long. Hey! They always beep if they see you. No matter. If you're in a car, you can't wave to people. If you're on any other mode of transportation, waving is okay. If you're on a boat, you can wave. Bikes, wave. But if you're in a car, you never wave to people unless you know them. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this ride. It was a good evening and um, the season is upon us, so hopefully we'll be out there again making more of these videos. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.